the nature of a con movie is to not really know the motivations of a, of a con artist. And you have to withhold so much from the audience in a con movie for the purposes of the plot. And in a romantic movie, you want to show what people's motivations really are. So you're in this world where you can't compromise the plot for the emotional content, but you need that emotional content to drive the movie. So it was a tricky balancing act. And the actors were great at helping us figure that out. She's just like incredibly intelligent and, and, and she was ambitious, but not in an ugly way and just a remarkable person. And uh, when we were casting the movie, we met a lot of people and we, we read everybody in town and we just, she came into the room and just lit the place up. You know, her and Will had instant chemistry and you know, it was easy from that point forward. As we researched the, 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 the con world, there's this crossover between the con world and illusion and deception. And quickly in the research, we kind of got into this neuropsychology angle of the nature of cons and the nature of illusions. And it turns out that Apollo had been working with neuroscientists quite regularly. What con artists over centuries have kind of figured out is these blind spots in the human brain. Right, and neurologists had been studying these blind spots just from a neurological point of view and began to realize the magicians and con artists had long ago, centuries ago, figured out these blind spots. So they said, well, geez, we need to go to the source. These people who have been studying this, not in a non-scientific way, but in a commercial way, in a way, and I guess is how you'd say it, we have to go to them. And, that's, and so we were reading these books and we were researching the movie. We just think he's one of the great actors out there. When you have a character like this, it's easy for an actor to find a sort of a cliched way to cover him. And we knew if we hired Rodrigo, Rodrigo would root around in this guy and try to find a more interesting way to play him. And, and I think he really did. He, he found sort of a petulance to him that, uh, you know, as opposed to sort of, you know, powerful, macho, macho power, powerful Latin villain, he finds this sort of petulant child, you know, who's just sort of like a little, little squealy little kid that I think he really elevates it. He's the best kind of actor. He's a really giving actor, you know, and that's what actors who work with him say. And so he shapes his performance to give the other actor what they need to elevate their performance. Because actors, a real seasoned actor understands that actors reach their own level. You know what I mean? Like, if you have a kid and he's untrained and you need a good performance, well, one good thing to do is put him against a great actor because that actor will get the performance. People can, be ex can expect to be surprised with this movie. I think it's very funny, it's very emotional, and it's, it's got a couple of walloping surprises that are really going to blindside everybody who sees it. They surprised me, and I, I wrote it.